Listen, I'm buying as many shares of Miko Hardman as I can get my hands on in Dynasty Leagues next year. Since 2019, Miko Hardman ranks second in the NFL in terms of yards after the catch. That's behind only Debo Samuel, but ahead of other guys like Jamar Chase and Cooper Cup and AJ Brown and Chris Godwin. Last year, Miko Hardman, little known to many, had a catch rate of 71.1%. Why is that relevant? That was the 13th best catch rate in the NFL. When he was targeted, he made plays happen. He had two qualified drops, I think, over the course of last year, which were some of the fewest in the league. Now, next year, he's going to be stepping in as the veteran presence within that wide receiver room. He's going to be the longest tenure wide receiver going into that offense alongside Travis Kelsey. And they're going to have to integrate a Juju Smith-Schuster, who's on a one-year deal. They're going to have to integrate an MVS coming in from the Packers. They're going to have to integrate whatever rookie receivers they decide to go out and get. To keep it a buck, like, I don't even think they go and get a receiver in the first round. That might be a hot take. But when you lose Melvin Ingram, your D-end, when you lose Tyron Matthew, your safety, when your defensive back room is now expected to cover Devontae Adams, Hunter Renfro, Jerry Judy, Cortland Sutton, Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, six times a year. I would imagine that as fun as it is to project who goes to the Chiefs uh, for our fantasy football pleasure, I could see Brett Veach having to make real life decisions which would probably mean they go and stack up on defense early regardless if they get a receiver it'll be somebody who's probably profiled to be an x which will still allow miko to thrive in the slot where he's actually been most efficient during his nfl career i'm buying him cheap i think you should too it doesn't take much to get him so even if he busts you didn't spend that much but if he hits you got yourself a lottery ticket go get miko hartman